The doctor put a needle of virus into the monkey's eyelids. After a period of time, these monkeys may start to get hot all over, or red spots on his face, or thick bumps on the back. When symptoms appear, the experimenter will take blood for test and record various parameters when the virus attacks in monkeys. After more than 10 hours of experimental observation and data collection, when these monkeys are about to die, only after the researchers injected the semi-finished vaccine, which is still in the experimental stage into their bodies, a few lucky monkeys can survive. If you can recover, the experiment will be arranged again in the near future, but most monkeys will die and be sent to the dissecting table. The above complete set of biopharmaceutical processes in every biological laboratory around the world it will be repeated thousands of times almost every year, and these monkeys used in the experiment are all experimental monkeys. Experimental monkeys are not all monkeys. The main choices are rhesus monkeys and crab-eating macaques, mainly because their genetic similarity with humans is as high as 94%. Almost all diseases and viruses that can be infected by humans. Both types of monkeys can be infected, such as polio, tuberculosis, malaria, and even COVID-19. Therefore, these two kinds of monkeys are very suitable for the experiment of drugs, drugs, vaccines, etc. in clinical application and even before mass production. The monkeys in Mount Ime are annoying, but not all monkeys are like this. For example, rhesus monkeys and stone crabs, macaques are the heroes of mankind. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, in order to develop vaccines, in the experiment, the value of the monkey also naturally began to soar. In the previous experiment, a monkey of 10,000, now it has risen to 100,000, and may not be available. There is even a situation in which monkeys are hard to find internationally. The reason why experimental monkeys are so nervous, on the one hand, it is because of the large demand, some experts said, generally develop a new drug. There are dozens to hundreds of monkeys for experiment alone. Some special drugs are in greater demand. Take the United States as an example. Now, with the massive research and development of COVID-19 vaccine, the annual demand for experimental monkeys in the United States is nearly 100,000. On the other hand, the yield of experimental monkeys is very small. The number of rhesus monkeys and stone iron macaques is small. Monkeys can only have one baby at a time, and the breeding cycle is particularly long. An experimental monkey can be used for experiment. It will take at least eight years to use monkeys in drug experiments. Is it cruel? The answer is obviously no. Without the sacrifice of these animals, modern medicine might not advance any further. Of course, we should also ensure that the experimental process of these experimental monkeys is consistent with medical research, and there can be no abuse for other purposes.